It's known as sharing tang. It's all happening before the kids old enough to make their own digital footprint. And now there are new concerns not uh, about not just flooding your friends feeds, of course, but also cybersecurity and identity theft that can have some serious long term consequences. It's part of every family celebration, capturing those picture perfect moments. All right, everybody, look at the camera. From baby's first bath to those toddler temper tantrums. Parents are sharing more about their kids online than ever before. 92% of kids under the age of two already have a digital footprint, meaning photos and personal information about them already exist online. And over a third of moms between 18 and 34 created social media accounts for their baby before their first birthday. It even has a name. And apparently, a lot of parents post way too many personal pictures of their kids. It's called oversharenting. They're calling it that. Any Sharon's here? <laughs> but Sharenting is no joke. More than 140,000 children are victims of identity theft each year, and the number keeps growing as more information is shared across social media. There is no 100% surety online. Uh, if, if a hacker is determined and has decided that they are going to go after you and your account, certainly there's protections that you can take. But you should always be mindful that what you post online could be copied, pasted, shared elsewhere. Even the most innocent posts could help fraudsters steal your kid's identity. You might think posting a birth announcement with your baby's name and date of birth is safe, but if you're also sharing your maiden name and location, that's enough to open a bank account or credit card in your infant's name. And chances are your child won't discover it till they're much older when they apply for a student loan or that first credit card. And the credit check reveals someone's been using their name for years. Even your adorable baby photos and videos could get sold onto child pornography websites or used to make fake social media accounts with their image. Brianne Manns runs the popular parenting blog Stroller in the City. She has tips for being a smart and safe Sharenter. The one thing that I learned years ago was to never post your location or post in real time. You don't want to post your child's school. You don't want to post your child like full name, their birthday. Also, change your Facebook and Instagram privacy settings to only share posts of your kids with family and close friends and use invitation only apps to digitally share your photos and videos in small group networks like 23 Snaps, Cluster, and Smug Mug. And to spare your kids any embarrassment later in life, check with them first before you share. Now, there's also a pretty big debate over parents' rights to share information on social media about their kid. And then, of course, the best interests of your child in terms of privacy in this digital age. So with everything so searchable and basically permanent, that's really where the big questions come from. Mm -hmm. is how searchable is your kid yeah. before they're even five? But Dylan made a good point, though. Yeah, what if you've already... I've already off. done that. So now what? Is uh -oh. Calvin just yeah. screwed? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think a lot of the experts are telling us you can actually roll back some of your privacy settings and you can make adjustments mm. because once that information is no longer available online, fewer people can see it. All right, Joe. Mm. Thank you so much.